Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by me, Steve Clues. Right, and today I've got the Vitronics Vacuum Cleaner. This is £47 on Amazon and I will put the link in the description below. Um, this is the CYL01 model. Yeah, if you'd like to watch this review, please stay tuned. But first, roll those tiles. Right, first of all, let's check out what you get inside the box. Let's see what you get. Um, I've already took the salty off already. Uh -oh. The pipe. Um, the bottom. Brush. And the pipe. The vacuum cleaner itself. settings and the instruction manual that's open now let's put this one side the vacuum cleaner let's basically unpacking everything first I'll show you what the parts look like That's the metal, which is quite cool. The pipe, the pipe um, it does look like really cheap. I don't know if it's going to make a difference or anything like that. And the brush itself, obviously, here, the bottom. But like I say, it does look really cheap. The bottom part. This it feels and looks really cheap. Right. Like I say, this is bagless. Um, to get the the to empty, basically, what you have to do is there's a button here on top. You press that, then this it attaches. Then obviously it's got like um, a lock sign here, and all you have to do then is turn it, you wrap the lock sign, and it, then it um, empties that part. And there's a filter inside. Obviously, and that's this how you empty basically. Take the same plastic thing off here, and obviously you empty it. So make sure when you put it back on, make sure you slot it in, slot it in the right way, otherwise it won't go on properly. Obviously this plastic thing here, like I'm doing now, should slot in all the way. Otherwise, if it doesn't, it won't. Basically, it'll you basically break it. So make sure it actually goes in the grooves, otherwise it'll break the groove. It just goes back on there, the filter does. And that just goes on here. Now this part here, when you put it on, you need to turn it. Um, if you see a sign here, you need to turn it. There's an arrow there. You need to turn it the lock way so it locks again. And if you don't want to do it that way, the hard way basically, what I call it, if the easy way is to do it is basically just press this button at the back here and it releases. Simple as that. And just clips back to get them together like that. And it just locks into place on back onto the cover. Make sure also make sure you put it the right way. Got these little push fittings here. It's stuck on that is actually. It's a bit tight. Oh two. Oh that's 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 good. It's got like a brush here. But it's like it's like on like a hinge, so you can like turn it. Never seen one like that before. So you can get in the grooves basically, like that. That's quite cool. You got this this part here for socking bits up. Turn it right around you. And then that's a clip of pipe in here. You have to be really careful about the sewer because the parts um, 
they do feel really cheap and if you like put everything wrong um, and not try to try to force it a little bit I think it's going to break um, this either itself is basically a copy of like a Dyson either it's got like that, them the like clone things here um, and to track this out this metal piece here you've got an arrow here if you push it up it comes out like that to put it down you put to put it down again you need to push it up again and it's going to push back in like that um, Yeah, how's this gone now? So that goes on to that, to that yeah, that's right. It goes on to there. And once you've set it up like this, like I have here, it makes sure, obviously, this part here, this, this part on the side of the box, um, you do pour it on top of here, that like way, and these two little bits, you can put basically one there and one there, like so. You can go anywhere you want really on either. Um, and also, that's the wrong way, that's the right way, that's it. And that's basically what it's like when it's set up. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, over the floor and see um, how powerful it is. There is quite a few bits here on the carpet. I'll, I'll show you before I actually do it. Um, I'm going to over this part up here and show you before and after basically. Right now I've done that bit of carpet like I said. It has got all the bits up. You must see that. And this is quite a good over to be honest with you. Um but I wouldn't recommend this for a family. Simple the reason is is that'll fill up fast. And um obviously if you put it on wrong um it can actually break. You'll be careful of that. Uh, the cable itself is um, five meters and it's got like on the end when it gets to the end it's got the yellow on here that's a warning and that's basically the red one so like that's basically saying it's the end um, it does, re does retract in and also when you press this button here it will retract back in again uh, it is clipped on there now there's the attachments on here like that like i say um this hoover i've, I've seen this in b and m well, not the same make, but the same kind of movie, like 800 watts, same, and same size and everything, bagless and all, and it's, it's £65 in B&M, and this is only £47, so I do cost this as a bargain, but I wouldn't like, recommend this for a family, because it just, felt, it just fills up too easy, it's just, it's just not powerful enough, basically. It's good for me, because obviously I'm on my own. I think it's good for, like, if, you, if there's more than two of you, I don't think... I would buy this because obviously because it's a new powerful one. Right. This is quite light and all. Bytronics inside that says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching this review anyway. Um, please stay tuned for more. Bye. Guess it's been a while since I fell in love.